my dad first put a ball in my, my hands when I was age four. And then from then on, I just loved to run around the house, start just dribbling all around the house. I, I would say the biggest transition I, I had to face from JUCO to university was probably academics. I think it was a lot easier in JUCO and transferring from JUCO to uh, college, the university institution probably was kind of different because I had to start, it, start um, concentrating more on my work. The best part I would say about being on the men's basketball team is the publicity. You get a chance to play different national teams that you usually see on TV and that would give us an opportunity to show people around the world what we can do. But what I want to be remembered by when I leave UTA, uh, I just want everybody to know that uh, I'm a very good player, I'm a hard worker. I want people to know that I want to make a statement because, you know, um, being far away from home, uh, about 20 hours, I, I'll say. Um, people that really don't know me, I just want everybody to, to recognize me. Something I will give advice for kids is to continue to do right, just do everything that their parents ask them to do, and just be uh, humble about it, and just continue to work hard in everything they, they would do, and continue to do well in school, because of course, academics comes first, so I would tell the young young kids to continue doing what they need to do in school and work hard at whatever they want to become in life. My biggest influence in my life, I would say, would be three people, my mom, my dad, and my grandmother. My, my dad just, the reason he's the biggest, one of the biggest influences in my life is because he told me that my time is coming. I remember not really being um, someone that could, that could really play on the court, but he also worked with me to make my, to better my game. And he said, just, Bo, you need to wait. Your time is coming. So I just, I took that in, in my heart and I believed in it. So I worked harder and harder to get to where I, I am today. Coach Cross is, Sort of like a, a close friend because he uh, he he knows he's already been through types of things that we we are going through right now at school. So um, tells me to just uh, be real with him and get everything off my chest that I have to say to him and just speak my mind. And that's one thing that I never had from a coach and. Um, I mean, he's just the type of coach that will listen to us. Coach Cross is a great coach, and I'm, I'm proud to, you know, be a, a Maverick under him, so I appreciate him.